Everybody, welcome to part one of my useful blues guitar tips. There may be ten, there may be less, <laughs> there may be more. Um, and there's nothing going to be very complicated. There's no, uh, there's no kind of slide rule or physics going to be going on here. It's just that I believe that with um, the thing about making an expressive guitar solo or an expressive composition is <clears throat> understanding that basically a chord is an abbreviation of a scale an arpeggio is an abbreviation of a scale and once we pinpoint those elements within the scale and within the chord so the chord plays whatever the chord plays we reflect that in the scale and whatever the chord changes we reflect that in the scale and this is where we can be a lot more expressive in our playing now I know that there's a lot of you out there who will already know some of this stuff uh, some of it you may not know you may all know all of it you may know none of it so um, it's aimed at the people who don't know it okay so let's look at first of all this basic first we're going to talk about a 12 bar blues in a throughout these lessons whatever you want to call them tips we're going to focus on a 12 bar blues in A. So, what we call the one chord, the A chord, to the D chord. Okay. The D chord is called the four chord because D is the fourth note in the scale of A. Don't worry about that for the time being. But what we really need to pay attention to is this C sharp. This, this second fret on the B string. And we play this very simple, straightforward A dominant seven chord. Okay. When we go to D seven, that C sharp drops a semitone. Okay. So that's what we need to reflect in our soloing that change okay now I'm gonna try my best I might, I might forget this but I'm gonna try my best to stay between basically the fourth and the eighth fret uh, I'm, oh god on me the fifth and the eighth fret okay I'm gonna try and keep it just in that position and we're gonna be more or less using the Dorian scale with a couple of little movements here and there. That's the plan, okay. So, when we hear this A7 chord, it's got that C sharp in the middle, and then the D7, that, that C sharp becomes the C. Now, let's take an example of what happens if we don't make that correction of the C sharp to the C over those two chords when we're soloing. So basically, let's play this D7 chord. And I'll put the C sharp in it. It's got to go. Okay. It's got to go. So the C sharp is only in the A chord. And the C is in the D chord. Now, when we solo over that, technically what we're doing is we are following the theory, okay? We're, we're, this is the point of it all. We're following the theory, and so we are eliminating a wrong note between those two, the differences in those two chords. But the point is, is, is that you can utilize this change to be an expressive vehicle, 
okay so I'm gonna put the A and the D chord into this little loop pedal that I have on the floor and then I'm gonna solo over the top of it and you'll see what I mean C sharp here so we're basically looking at to play in this next position we've got the fifth and the sixth fret on the G string fifth fret sixth fret then we've got fifth fret seventh fret on the B string and then we've got fifth fret seventh fret eighth fret and ninth fret I've already broken my rule You can hear the chord change with that difference, that with that shift in that note, you can hear the chord change. You see? finish this on this last one which is a nice position put your first finger on the 10th fret of the B string put your third finger on the 12th fret of the B string and you're going to bend that 12th fret what you're doing is you're bending up to that C sharp and if you bend it a semitone half that bend So there again, you can hear the chord change, you can hear the A in the D. So with the backing track, it's like this. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube and Facebook look out for my um, live streams and and band videos live performances with my band in various different locations and situations and my live performances and everything internet guitar from paul rose thank you very much see you on the next one we're going to look at the next chord thank you <laughs>